as Marie Lombardi once wrote, Carole and I, that's Carol, my wife, a note after we had uh, won our first Super Bowl, enjoy it now because fame is fleeting. And she wrote again, enjoy it while you can. If there's anything we've ever done that I'm particularly proud of, I, w I would have to say that the uh, perpetuation of the greatness of the Raiders to take a professional football team and give it a distinct characteristic that's different from all others. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. I had a dream that someday I would build the finest organization in professional sports. I had certain philosophies of my own that had to become part of whatever I was to do. And that was, number one, what I call the vertical game. We were going to stretch the field vertically. When we came out of the huddle, we weren't looking for first downs. We didn't want to move the chains. We wanted touchdowns. We wanted the big play, the quick strike. It's number one to say you want to do that. It's number two to say that you have the players to do it, but it's number three to do it. To do it on first down of any football game for that defense that you're playing against. For those cornerbacks who play out there on the corners to know that the Raiders are coming at you, they're coming at you on top, and they've got the speed to do it, and they will do it. It's like having the bomb and being willing to drop it. The adage that goes around in professional football, and I hear everyone say it, take what they give you. That all sounds good to everybody, but I always went the other way. We're going to take what we want. The defensive theory evolved early on in the 60s to, number one, pressure. Put pressure on the pocket. We do believe that this is a game, psychologically, of intimidation and of fear. I don't mean cowardly fear, but fear. And I think this, that somewhere within the first five to ten plays of the game, the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard. That alone sets a tempo for a game. Play hard, try not to make mistakes, but don't worry about mistakes because there's only one thing that counts, just win. Commitment to uh, excellence. Is a commitment to excellence. The flame that would burn brightest here is the will to win. Is the will to win. Is the will to win. Your commitment to excellence and your will to win will endure forever. You will not get it. The great games we've played in, we could get the greatest coaches, the greatest players. We may take a player in who has been a failure somewhere else, but it's predicated on bringing them into an environment that can inspire in them the will to do great. And they have done great. Stout back, looking right now. He'll never look again. Not this time, as Alzado gets another sack. We went into many of the predominant black schools to take a lot of the players. We called it an untapped reservoir. And the Raiders, behind these blockers, shell up so they block out the sun. We wanted to win. We wanted the best players. We weren't interested in who they were or exactly where they came from. Almost two-thirds of the NFL players are black, but there has never been a black head coach in pro football. But those white traditionalists who controlled the game are being replaced by more pragmatic owners, led by Al Davis of the Los Angeles Raiders. I, I think if any guy will be able to do it, it'll probably be Al Davis. I'm for you, Al. My hat's off to you. It's not important to be consistent. It's important to be right. The Los Angeles Raiders made that move yesterday, and Shell is their new head man. One thing you got to understand is the only way to play the game.
this game is you got to get down in the dirt and get nasty. Let's go. Smart Shell has won in his Raider debut. He is no longer the first black coach in the NFL. He's just a winning coach right now. I'm going to dominate, if I can, other than maybe life or death, the things that I want. I'm going to dominate them. And he looks and throws. Intercepted by the Oakland Raiders. Willie Brown at the 30, 40, 50. Old man Willie. He's going all the way. Touchdown, Raiders. The Oakland Raiders, more than anybody else, have what you'd call a really conglomeration of misfits because these guys came from everywhere. Somehow they put it together. Awful lot of credit. It's got to go to uh, John Madden and Al Davis, too. The Oakland Raiders were magnificent on that football field today. And to the people and the community in Oakland, we're proud to represent you and we intend to hold it. Back is Pluckett. Time to throw. Deep to the end zone to Branch. It is caught by Branch. Touchdown, Raiders. This was our finest hour. This was the finest hour in the history of the Oakland Raiders. The Tom Flores, the coaches, and the great athletes, you were magnificent out there today. You were You have great coaches, then after you have great coaches, you get great players. That's one. You have a great organization, and you tell them one thing. Just win, baby.